Mystery Matter here. Sorry if I look really tired. I need a nap in case you wanted to know. Um, really fast, I just wanna make sure that we've covered all of our bases here. You are either viewing this video as part of a slideshow or maybe on the actual student work page where um, your assignment is due today. So let me scroll down and go to today's date, which is the 8th, or it actually, you could be watching this on the 9th as well. And um, I'm just gonna, I have to click through the overview stuff. Give me just a second here. And I click past Labor Day. So the first thing I really, really want to make sure that you guys are doing. So here's Tuesday stuff. I really, really, really want to make sure that today, everybody that's watching this video has actually been on this page that says learning objective mini lesson. You saw that the mini lesson is to click through the slideshow, see if you have missing assignments, and you clicked open the slideshow. It'll ask if you want to make a copy. The answer to that is yes. So hopefully you're watching this video from that slideshow because this is on a slide in there. Um, but if not, you need to go back. So if you are already on the student work catch up day page and you didn't open that slideshow, you really need to go back because that has the checklist of work that you're missing, as well as answers for how to do work, like a reader's writer's notebook or the about you. Okay, so on this page, there is something to submit, a file to actually submit. And you're like, well, what the heck, strip matter? Y'all told us that there's no new work for today. Um, well, there's no new work for today, but you guys should be checking your, your grades in Skyward, seeing what's missing, and using this time to complete any late or missing work. There is something to attach today to turn in, but it's not new. Um, Mr. Elmore and myself and Ms. Stevenson have finally come up with a better solution for the Reader's Writer's Notebook, so it's easier for you guys. So after you go through the slideshow, every single student will have a Reader's Writer's Notebook. So again, if you haven't done that slideshow, go do it. Um, but what you're going to do is go to the top right-hand corner of your page on the student work catch-up day. Um, your button might be blue, tan, gray, just depends. You're going to click on this top right button that says Submit Assignment, and that's going to pop out a... Um, basically like a box down here where you can turn in files. So you got a couple of options. I want you guys to all click on the first Google Drive option. We've gotten a Google Drive a couple of different ways. We've done Google Assignments. It's a hot mess. We're not gonna do Google Assignments anymore. From now on, we're just gonna go to this box. You're gonna go to Google Drive. Make sure you have your Birdville Schools account, unlike me. And then you're gonna go to Select File. This is only going to work if you already have a reader's writer's notebook in your file. So what you're going to do is type in the word, for example, like reader, and then that's going to pop up your reader's writer's notebook. You're going to click on that notebook and you're going to click add. Um, once you do that, this is going to go away. And then down here, you're going to click like select file and submit. So that's how you submit it. Um, I need that from everybody because your teachers are compiling a list that have links to all of your journals. So whether your journal is finished or not at this point, go ahead and link it. And then that'll give you time, um, in class and over the, like over the week to work on your journal. Cause we will automatically see any changes that you make, which is pretty cool. Let us know if you have any questions or need any help. Good luck on your catch-up day stuff. And again, make sure you go back and look at that slideshow with your checklist on it. Bye for now.